and these types of characteristics is known as learning phenomena. <laughs> learning phenomena is represented by the decrease in per unit production time as the operator perform additional units of production. Um, the next part is to introduce you to the ideas of single period stochastic inventory model. So let's take it as an example. Um, they have the term single period, that means the selling season is only one selling season. <coughs> single <coughs> of selling season. So um, let's say the selling season starts at the beginning of February and ends at the end of July, or let's say this is the selling season. Um, and the, the company has to place order before uh, the selling season, and how far, how soon they have to place order depends on the uh, delivery lead time. Um, let's say the delivery lead time is two weeks, so they place they place order at the beginning of November, so that the order arrive uh, at the beginning of the selling season. Um, at the end of selling season, uh, if they order too much then there will be leftover units, and they have to uh, mark the leftover unit down as well, or they have to dispose them at cost. Um, so that is the cost of ordering too much. There will be some leftover units, and we have to discount them. Um, if they order too little, let's say they don't order it enough, then um, there will be shortages, and there will be the loss of potential profit. In the single period stochastic demand inventory model, um, the characteristic is that the, deci the decision maker has only one time opportunity to place an order. They can place order only one time, and there's only one selling season. The decision about how much to order uh, has to be made before uh, if demand occur, they make a decision about how much to order before they will rise the actual demand, and the demands are uncertain. This model take into two opposing costs. One is the leftover cost, the cost of ordering too much, such as the cost of leftover units, um, and underage cost, the cost of ordering not enough. The objective is to find the order quantity that minimized the expected cost. Um, so to be clear about the problem that we are looking into, uh, we consider the single period stochastic demand inventory model. And in this model, we incorporate human learning. And the objective is to minimize the expected cost. We take into account the cost of not ordering enough and the cost of ordering too much. Um, we treat the shortages as lost sales. Part of the model is learning curve. Um, we assume that learning is experience based. That means as the worker produces one more, they are able to perform faster. So the per successive production, the, <coughs> unit, the per unit production cost is not increasing. Um, and the learning curve that we use is the white learning curve. It is a famous and well-known, widely used learning curve. Um, T of Y, T of Y is the per unit production production cost for this particular Y unit. T1 is the unit cost of the time to produce the first unit. That means prior to any learning, um, we have M as a <coughs> learning, learning slope. In the white learning curve, we assume that, actually this model assume that the, um, the per unit production time decreases in a constant rate as cumulative numbers of units produced double. So model assumptions, we assume that there is worker learning and we incorporate worker learning in the production cost. Uh, the other assumptions is similar to those 
uh, under the single period stochastic demand inventory model. Uh, there's only one selling season, um, and the product are perishable or has short life cycle, um, such as the fashionable product or the product with is no demand. <coughs> there is only one time opportunity to place an order, and the lead time is long. It takes a lot of time uh, to, to wait for a new order to arrive. <coughs> the decision has to be made before the actual demand is realized. <coughs> and this model takes into account overage cost, cost of ordering too much, and underage cost, cost of not ordering enough. <coughs> Somehow the, it doesn't show up here. Um, so let I move to the model modeling part. <coughs> Sorry. So this slide, the intention is to show you the profit minimization problem is equivalent to the cost. Sorry, profit maximization problem is equivalent to the uh, cost minimization problem. So let's say we write down the expected profit function for a given order quantity. It is equal to the expected sale minus the production cost, minus expected cost of leftover, and minus expected cost of shortages. And then this uh, expected sale, actually it is equal to uh, expected demand minus expected shortage. So we replace this term by uh, expected demand and expected shortages. And then we rearrange the term, and this is what we get. This the first term is a constant. It is the R is the per unit revenue, uh, the the revenue make from per unit sold times expected demand. So that is just a constant. To maximize profit, it is equivalent to uh, cost minimization. So the function T of Q is the expected cost function. Maximizing uh, prime Q equal to minimizing G of Q. So, and that is the objective function. The objective is to minimize expected cost. So to understand uh, or to figure out the optimal order quantity, we need to understand the characteristic of the expected cost function GQ. So I take the first derivative of the function GQ and the second derivative of it, and this is what it looks like. We can see that in the second derivative function, there are negative term and there are positive term. So actually, we cannot determine the sign of the second derivative function. It could be negative, it could be positive. There's no guarantee that it will be positive. That means there's no guarantee that the cost function is convex. But we are able to show that if the demand follow uniform distribution, um, then the optimal order quantity Q star is unique and exists. 